the important question is that why a coronavirus vaccine oh important? As we know that the virus spreads easily and the majority of the world's population is still vulnerable to it. A vaccine would provide some protection by improving people's immune systems to fight the virus so they should not become sick. Now we will review the progress on development of coronavirus vaccine. More than 50 companies and organizations are carrying out research of the development of vaccine. There is a race between companies to be first to market coronavirus vaccine. Obviously it means billions of dollars in sales and royalties. There are six candidates in clinical development right now, two in the USA, three in China and one in the United Kingdom. Let discuss those companies and organizations only that are close to developing a vaccine. Oxford University is leading so far. In Oxford, the first human trial in Europe has started with more than 800 recruits, half will receive the COVID-19 vaccine and the rest a control vaccine which protects against meningitis but not coronavirus. The group, led by Sarah Gilbert, has since stated that a vaccine shown to be effective in phase 3 clinical trials that could be manufactured in large quantities won't be ready before the autumn even in a best case scenario. And that scenario is highly ambitious and subject to change. Vaccines made from the CH Adox 1 virus have been given to more than 320 people to date and have been shown to be safe and well tolerated, although they can cause temporary side effects, such as a temperature, headache, or sore arm. The British government has initially earmarked £14 million for 21 coronavirus research projects, such as the work by the scientists at the University of Oxford and Imperial College London. Now announcement of a further £44.5 million for the Oxford and Imperial trials increases this funding further. In America, the US government had committed to a $1 billion, £800 million, COVID-19 vaccine deal with Titan Johnson & Johnson, co-financing research through the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority. Human trials on the vaccine have already started in the US, breaking records for the speed with which such trials can get off the ground. Healthy volunteers in America are being given the new generation genetic hack after it bypassed standard animal testing as part of a highly accelerated process. Moderna and China's CanSino Biologics are the first to launch small clinical trials of vaccines against COVID-19 to see whether they are safe and can trigger immune responses. The CanSino vaccine trial also began on March 16, according to researchers from the Chinese military's Institute of Biotechnology, which is collaborating on it. Jennifer Haller, an operations manager at a tech company in the Seattle, became the first person outside of China to receive an experimental vaccine against the pandemic virus. Haller has had no serious side effects from the mRNA injected into her arm. CEPI plans to move six of the eight products into larger safety studies to arrive at three that are worthy of full-scale efficacy trials that enroll perhaps 5,000 participants. Important question in everyone's mind is, what is the approximate time frame for coronavirus vaccine to be available publicly? UK's chief scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Valance, and his US counterpart, Anthony Fossey, keep repeating that, it won't be before 12 to 18 months but vaccine may be available sooner, maybe first vaccine is 6 to 8 months away. Some voices, including some of those in the race to create a vaccine themselves, have suggested that it could be as early as June. Who is right is still a million dollar question.